Gorgeous Ones, and welcome to today's webisode of the Go Glam and Get Gorgeous show, where we share our expertise on all things totally glamorous in the fashion and beauty world. We also share information regarding the not-so-glamorous style and beauty mishaps. I'm your host, Miss, but some people like to call me Glam, and I'm what you would call your everyday glamour girl. And I'm Irina, your glamour girl every day. We're going to discuss Cebu's Sashini Thermal Solution. Pretty much, we're going to decide whether to glam it or slam it. So, this particular thermal solution, what it does is it, is it eliminates frizz, it adds shine, and it offers some thermal protection to your hair. This product can be purchased at most salons for only $19. Only $19. Okay. What I like most about this product is that it works very well on thick and coarse hair. Um, it adds a really nice shine and it actually really does thermally, it really does protect the hair from, you know, heating appliances, curling irons, flat irons and all that. I really feel like it really works. I like this product also because it doesn't weigh your hair down. Right. I hate to have oily sprays that is very thick right. and it will weigh your hair down. Yes. Um, and it just doesn't look real healthy. It doesn't look real bouncy and flowy. The problem with me, the downside of this product is the writing is so small. The bottle is so small, so you can barely see the writing. So you have to make sure you take it in a magnifying glass almost yeah, just, just to read the directions because you want to make sure you follow it correctly. Yeah, and it's like microscopic on this. But this is only on the two ounce side. Mm -hmm. the, um, the larger size, the writing is a little more legible, but this one is almost like, why even put the directions on there because you can barely see mm -hmm. it. And you have to follow directions carefully so you won't overuse it or use too much of it. Well, you know what? That's mm -hmm. interesting because um, actually this product had the wrong mm -hmm. directions on it for quite a bit of time. It mm -hmm. said that you're supposed to apply it to wet hair, mm -hmm. and it was the instructions told you to apply it to dry hair. Oh. Although you can apply it to dry hair okay. for ethnic hair, okay. but no, the directions were uh, mm -hmm. they were kind of mixed up. So what you should do ultimately mm -hmm. is apply it to wet to hair. To wet hair, okay. So, what do you think we should do with this product? I think I'll slam it. Really? I'm going to glam it. I love it. I love it. The smell is a little distinct. You have to get over it. But I'm going to go with it. I like it. Well, I can't see the writing, so. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know how to use it, right? <laughs> I'll slam it. Okay. Well, we can't agree on everything. But how about you try it out for yourself? And actually, you can let us know what you think. Today, we're going to talk about things that your mother never told you but should have. We're going to discuss bad fashion and beauty habits, and we're going to share our top eight. I'm going to begin with two thick eyelashes. Now, ladies, I wear false lashes. I don't mind saying it, mm -hmm. but some of the false lashes that I see are way too thick and way unnatural. I know sometimes people get individual lashes, mm -hmm. and we know about my episode with the individual lashes, but anyway. Um, when you're getting these individual lashes, it's easy to sometimes to have them applied too thickly, but you want to make sure they're spaced out and actually that they're actually different lengths. They're, they look really nice when they're different lengths. But the really thick strip of hair across mm -hmm. the lash line is a no-no. I we, think some people normally double up on those lashes, and that's why it looks so thick. Are you serious? I've heard of that. Two strips? Two strips. I've never heard of that. <laughs> a huge mistake. That, okay, that's like Henrietta Hippo. Yeah. Do you all remember the new zoo review? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she had those eyelashes like just flapping. That's all you saw on Henrietta. But no, we don't want the Henrietta Hippo eyelash syndrome. The next one we have is never, ever, ever, how many times can I say never, ever, wear a white bra with a black sheer see-through shirt. Yes. Yes. That's a no-no. That's one I grew up with. Please, sure. ladies, if you're going to wear a sheer black shirt, blouse, yes. please make sure that your bra is black. Do people still wear white bras? Or you need a camisole. Yes, people do, and I've seen it with my own eyes. I don't even <laughs> own a white bra. I mean, unless it's for a bridal or some yeah. sort of special event. I don't I don't own a white bra. They sell them. And then <laughs> I'm sure they make them. people do wear <laughs> White bras under sheer shirts. I've seen it. And actually, you know what? On the same note, you should wear a black sh a black bra under a white shirt. Yes. So black the, bras are always safe. Yeah. Black and bras if you don't, if you can't do the bra bras, then put on a camisole. Yeah. Camisole but never, never ever wear a white bra under a black sheer shirt. Oh, that's 
That's a no no. <laughs> yes. The next beauty habit to break is the thickly drawn on eyebrows. Now, I think we talked about this mm -hmm. in another webisode. Um, some ladies choose to eliminate their eyebrows altogether and then they draw them back on and they draw them back on and they look like something just that's stuck on top of their eye, like a caterpillar or something. A permanent facial expression. <laughs> yes, you know, we'll talk but the cheap way, right? But um, no, I don't. I, I think it looks very unnatural mm -hmm. when you have them drawn on too, too thick, thick and too dark. And that's another thing. Make sure you get a brow pencil or powder that matches your skin tone mm -hmm. or matches it's not your too hair. Dark. It shouldn't be jet black. It should be more of a brownish black. Maybe. Even if your hair is jet black, your it brow should. shouldn't necessarily be jet, jet black. black. Yeah, yeah. It just doesn't look mm -hmm. natural. And it should be drawn on your natural eyebrow shape. Right. Don't create a new shape. We're going to talk about that later. Yes. That's a no-no. And also, which is a no-no, is the lip liner. The dark lip liner on your lips. Oh, right. If you have pink lipstick on, please do not use black <laughs> lip liner. That's a complete no-no. And I hate for women to wear the pretty reds uh -huh. with the black liner. Oh, black liner. Yeah, and that's like eyeliner because I don't even think they make black lip it liner. It should always blend. Yeah. when you're using a liner. Yeah. There's no way you should just take the liner and just draw the shape of your lips. Right. <laughs> and with a really dark pencil. With a really dark But pencil. you know what? I think that was a 90s thing. Because I remember mm -hmm. a lot of girls wearing mm -hmm. the really dark lip mm -hmm. liner, chestnut mm -hmm. Mac. Every girl that I know owns a chestnut black mm -hmm. lip liner pencil. But um, there are other colors. Mm -hmm. And so. unfortunately, it still exists. Women still do it. And that's a no-no. Fashion police, please come take them away. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely take them away. Okay, the next, the next one I'm going to talk about is the too tight bra mm -hmm. strap. Now, I know we've all seen mm -hmm. the lady that's walking around with a, maybe a fitted shirt mm -hmm. on and her bra straps are digging into her shoulders. Yes. I mean, literally, there's like skin popped up around the bra strap and even around the back. Seek help from Victoria's Secret immediately. Yes, Victoria's Secret <laughs> does bra um, sizing mm -hmm. for free. Mm -hmm. They don't charge you anything. Mm -hmm. So you can go in there, you can get fitted for a bra, and you, you'll you be good to go. And I think women wear a smaller bra just to give their chest a little lift. Their that people, lift. right, people used just to do to that. Just to make it make them sit up more. Victoria's Secret has all types of bras nowadays, so you don't have to get a tiny bra to look like you have more. Trust me, go in there and ask about the Miracle. Mm -hmm. We talked about that. Yeah. The Miracle Bra. The Miracle Bra. Yeah, the Miracle Push-Up, I believe. Mm -hmm. But anyway, check it out. There are things out here. Just get rid of the too tight bra and make sure it fits. Okay, and ladies and men also, please stop the nail biting. Oh, um, nail that's not good. I know, I know. <laughs> it makes your nails look very, very ugly. <laughs> Just to put it plainly, right? Just to put it plainly, it's, it's ugly. So you don't want to keep biting nail, biting on your nails. And it's, um, it's nothing you can really do about it. Actually, my daughter, she bites her nails. Mm -hmm. And she wants them to grow, but it's, it's just a really bad habit. And they look so tiny. I'm like, you barely have a little nail bed. She just bite them all the way down to the skin. I did it growing up also. <laughs> did but you? I grew out of it. So. so how'd you get out of it? I mean, I just grew out of it. Once I started putting the nail tips on, okay. oh, well, I that... mean, I couldn't bite my nails. <laughs> but I think if I did not have these on, what I would be biting my nails. So, are you telling like me I right need now. to get my 10-year-old nail tips? <laughs> You're not telling me I need to get my 10-year-old acrylic nails, are you? <laughs> no, don't get acrylic nails. nails no. But no, I think that's the only reason that I stopped biting okay. my nails. Okay, okay. All righty, well, the next one is, and I have done this before, mm -hmm. take your makeup off before going to bed. I never do that. You leave it on? I leave it on. Oh, that's horrible. You're just going to take it I off. I never, I just, I'm so tired, I just yeah. don't have, you know, I just don't take it off. Well, you're like a night hawk. So I wake up with raccoon eyes. <laughs> But you should take your makeup off before going to bed. I'm yeah, sure those pillows have all kind of makeup and lashes and brows and everything. Well, I do pull the lashes off. Okay. But not the makeup. Yeah, we're going to work on that. I have to work on that. The next one is working out in a full face of makeup. Yes. I do that too. You shouldn't do it. But the only thing about that is that if I work out, I'm at work, I have my makeup on, and I go to the gym at lunchtime, I have makeup right because I'm at work. 
Right. Okay. So I just can't see me taking my makeup off just to do an hour workout. I actually used to work out at work. I used to take my makeup off, take my makeup back, and, and put, put it back, back on. on. See, what yes. I would do after I work out, I will freshen it back up. Yeah. I won't, you know. But I'm it just, can clog your pores. It's not good. It's not good, but that's just something I have to break out of. Okay. Well, that concludes mm -hmm. today's webisode of bad fashion and beauty habits that you need to break that your mother mm -hmm. never told you. Hope you enjoyed today's show as much as we did. We look forward to having you back next week. Until the next time, stay glam. And remember, it's important to stay glamorous. But it's more important to stay grateful.